What are you doing here? Looking for you. How did you find me? Heard you made bail. Thought you might want to connect with your family. Very perceptive. What can I do for you? I have something for you. It's not that I'm not appreciative, but I really was hoping for a dump truck. Don't pretend like you don't remember. You sent that to me. Actually, no, you sent that to Jocelyn. And I kept it as a reminder of how you terrorized me and my family. On the video, you said you would be watching over Jocelyn. It wasn't a direct threat, but we all knew what you meant, and I was scared to death. I'm sorry for that. The only way I could think to frighten Jason was to frighten you, but I would never have hurt Jocelyn. Not just like you would never hurt Michael. I've done a lot of really stupid things in my life, but, you know, at the time, they always seemed like the right thing to do. So it was so project. This is my work. Oh, never mind. I can't explain my art to myself. How am I going to explain it to you? All I can do is tell you that I'm sorry. Prove it. You know, when I came back to this town, I made myself vulnerable to arrest. I think that that would do something to gain trust in this town, but so far the only person that, that trusts me is my new best friend, the district attorney. That's because the DA doesn't know you. You don't know me. I know what you've done. I know you're a violent and uncaring man. That's entirely inaccurate. If anything, I care too much. I don't know why you're here, but I want you to stay away from my children. Okay, no problem. I don't trust you. Okay, what do I have to do to gain your trust? Why don't you leave town and never come back? Well, I, I think that would be a great disappointment to my new best friend, the district attorney. Okay, so you're playing games here. You just I like to wind us up like that stupid toy? Games, I do, but I'm not. All I'm trying to do right now is demonstrate to you that I have a terrific sense of humor. Okay, but nothing's funny here. I haven't slept a night. I'm afraid you're gonna break into my house. Like you did the night I walked into Jocelyn's nursery and you were standing there holding her? That's what I'm afraid of. Carly. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what it would feel like. The experience of holding my daughter. You were trying to terrorize me. No. You asked me to put her down, I put her down. You said you would be my hostage, and that was great because I needed leverage. But I, I would never have used Jocelyn. Here, take it. I don't want it. So all this time you were harmless and we just never knew. Harley, I'm not harmless, but I never hurt your children. Take it. I don't want it. Is it me or is this conversation just circular at this it point? It doesn't matter because we're talking about my family and I, I need reassurance. Fine, anything for you, Carly, really, anything you need. You make me believe that you're for real. That you're really trying to make amends. That okay. you're not gonna hurt any of us. When do you need a list of my reassurances? Right now. Yeah. Sit down, let's chat. It's a perfect opportunity. My aunt Tracy and my big brother AJ are upstairs fighting over my daughter. They found Lauren? Oh, uh, Lauren found them. Only she doesn't go by Lauren. Imagine that. Been pining after this girl her entire life and been calling her the wrong name. I feel so sorry for you. Well. A lot to make up for in my life. Please sit down, let's chat. Not here, you know, I think uh, we need to be somewhere in public where I feel safe. This is a conversation, we're not exchanging hostages. With you, one never knows. Fine. Where would you like to have this conversation, Carly? My hotel. We can have dinner at the Metro Court. Are you asking me out? Don't even try and charm me. Fine. The Metro Court it is. I'll need a few minutes here to finish up. That's fine. I'll meet you there. I'll need a few minutes to um, make the arrangements. Great. Totally unexpected. 
What a terrific idea. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's my only recourse. You got it. Carly, the hit's back on. The hit's back on? I thought Sonny wanted to wait. No, it's back on, all right? Our friend is gonna be on the terrace at the Metro Court restaurant. I'm gonna leave the door open to room 1202. It, that room overlooks the terrace, okay? You're gonna have a perfect shot from there. I want you to enter the hotel from the Grand Street entrance. We'll make sure the security cameras are off. Look, any chance this can wait? It cannot wait, okay? Like, what about Sonny? Are you sure he's okay with moving forward with this? It was his idea. What are you even talking about me right now? It's not my birthday. You're the birthday girl. You, you're, you're healthy. You're, you're back when you got your eye someone? on someone, don't you? You have your eye on someone. What are you not telling me? Oh, my God. What the hell is he doing here? Hello, ladies. Nice to see you again. Gonna have to ask you to leave, Mr. Frank. Frank, oh, thought we settled that. And just so we're clear. You know what? You're not welcome here. OK, you can either leave on your own power, or I can have securities for you out. He's with me. With you? Yep, that's right. And our table's right over there. What in the hell is she doing here with him? And I thought I was the crazy one. It should be nice and quiet out here. We can talk without disruption. What? Where are they? They're on the terrace. Excuse me. You know, the problem with genius with understanding everything is that you're rarely surprised. But you, Carly, you surprised me. I salute your surprise. What the hell's going on? Damn it, Sonny, get out of the way. What are you doing, Carly? Just uh, clearing the air with Franco. I, just, I don't think that's a good idea. <sighs> you are right. Sonny doesn't seem too happy about Franco being out on bail. This is going to get a whole lot worse before it gets any better. Oh, oh, God. Liv, what is it? It's Son, his shirt is all covered in blood, I think. Do you ladies need anything else? I think Franco's going to kill him. Wait, Liv. Carly, let's talk about this right now. Not now. Oh, Sonny. Now. I don't think Carly wants to Sonny, talk Sonny, about you, this. Sonny, you got to get out of here. 